Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the long awaited and the long expected birthing vlog. Um, this is not, we're not in a rush or anything um, because we're getting induced. I am 41 weeks today. So um, they decided to induce me and so we're going in for a night induction. Um, I wanted to make sure that I documented this experience for us, for our family. Um, as you know, we are in the midst of this coronavirus nonsense and um, our family's not going to be able to be there like they normally would be able to. So I want to make sure that we capture everything that they're not going to be able to be a part of. actually just called labor and delivery and they have a bed for me so thank goodness um, we're gonna go grab something to eat so that I'm not starving at the beginning of the process this is like choking me um, and so that's what we're going to do now and once we I guess we get admitted and we get settled in I'll update you guys on that so yeah just but by the time you see this it will already have happened so but regardless as a new family of now three just pray for us and that we will um raise this little baby boy the way that we're supposed to so all right let's go have a baby hey guys so we are now in our room and we're settled um they gave me, they've stuck me, they've taken blood and I don't know, blood pressure, temperature, all the stuff, all the things. Um, they have me, he keeps moving and the monitor can't pick up the heartbeat and they have to keep coming in here to find the heartbeat. He literally has moved like 10 times already and we've been here for like less than an hour. So. This is any indication of how much of a handful he's going to be. This should be interesting. <laughs> But um, they gave me a pill to soften my cervix and then hopefully that does what it's supposed to do and then we start Pitocin. So hopefully this pill does what it's supposed to do because if not then they have to start with the, um, I can't remember what it's called but it's like something that goes in you that they have to inflate and then it's like tension and I don't want that so <laughs> hoping these pills work and then we can start Pitocin but um, we're just gonna get some rest while we can um, not really having any pain yet so hopefully we can keep it that way for a while because <laughs> I'm like terrified of the pain that I'm going to be feeling but it'll all be okay that's what everybody's telling me at least. So, anyways, just wanted to check in and update. And we'll check back in when things change. Hey guys, so, um, it is, I don't even know what time it is. But, um, hang on, I can check. It is 2.14. And, um, the pill that they put in initially did not dilate me anymore so they put in another one they also checked to see if my water broke at all and it is like leaking so um they probably won't put another one of those pills in they'll just either go to the pitocin or the other um thing to help open up my cervix um, sorry my hair is like, I'm sure you guys care about that, but, um, but right now they have me hooked up to these, or not hooked up, they have me on these, like, portable, um, 
monitors so that I can move around and try to like get things opening up and so I actually slept a little bit so I feel way better um, I got a little emotional earlier but I think that was just from pain of them checking things so um, but as of right now I'm still just one centimeter that will check me in about an hour and a half again and I'm having some contractions um, they're very mild and not painful really at all so um, that's the update just trying to make sure that um, I'm opening up and that um, I'll update you guys when I have an update <laughs> so I'll see you guys later Live. Action. Excuse me. Okay, so um, I was checked the second time and they were able to make me a two. So they started Pitocin um, and I've been on that all of like 20 minutes and <laughs> it hurt. So I'm kind of dealing with contractions right now, trying to let it do what it's supposed to do. Um, but that's just the update for now is that um, I'm at a two and they started Pitocin and it's like five in the morning. So um, I think so. 4.30. 4.30. So um, that's the status as of now. So hopefully I can deal with the pain because it's, it hurts. <laughs> hopefully I can deal with the pain and then soon maybe I can get my epidural. Okay. guys so I'm a much different person than I was the last time you saw me and that can only mean one thing and that's epidural <laughs> um, if you notice I all of a sudden have like a lazy eye so the epidural really took to my left side <laughs> so like my left eye and my left arm are semi numb so that's why it's like a little droopy but um, I'm willing to have a numb face in order to, <laughs> to keep the epidural, which is horrible, but <laughs> I'm willing to do it. <laughs> um, it's about, what time is it, Caleb? Caleb, do you have the time? 7.23. It's 7.23 a.m. October 29th, so hopefully, um, Soon. I'm ready to be done with it but at the same time I think I'm gonna try to get some sleep because the epidural is working so well so I'm so thankful for that um, but yeah I'll just keep updating you guys as things progress and I'll see you hopefully next time we're having a baby